The United Nations is one of the best employers, not only because they pay a very good salary, but in addition to that, that income is tax free, as in you don't pay any income tax on that salary. So in this video, I'm going to share with you the United Nations salary scale plus the different job categories and how much they pay for each position. And in addition to that, we'll also look at the benefits that you get when you're working with the United Nations. So without further ado, let's get started. Welcome to Daniel Mutuku Show, where I help professionals become successful in their careers. And if this is your first time here, I would like to ask you, please subscribe to my channel, press the bell button so you can get to know each and every time I release a new video. The United Nations provides you with a very attractive remuneration package with competitive pay and benefits. The level of pay you receive is dependent on the job category that you're in. And in this video, I'm going to look at the four UN staff categories. And these are the professional and higher category, general service and other categories, national professional officers and field service. In this category, you are normally recruited internationally and you will be paid a salary which is based on the worldwide scale and benefits. Normally, it is required that you have a higher university degree for this category. However, if you have a first degree and a combination of qualifying experience, then you will be able to get an opportunity in this category. So in this category, the annual net base salary ranges approximately in US dollars between 37,000 all the way to 80,000 US dollars for entry level professionals who are in level P1 to P3. We also have another mid level category which ranges between 67,000 to 106,000 US dollars for mid level professionals, and the level is P4 to P5. And for the senior level professionals, that is level D1 and D2, their annual base salary ranges between 95,000 all the way to 123,000 US dollars. In addition to that, the salaries, grants, and allowances paid by the United Nations are normally exempted from income tax. The base salary is also supplemented by the post adjustment, which varies according to the cost of living in your duty station and the US dollar exchange rate. The purpose of the post adjustment is to ensure that all employees at the same level, they have the same buying power, irrespective of where they are located in the world. And this post adjustment is given in form of a percentage. So let's look at an example. So for example, if your annual base salary is 64,000 and the post adjustment multiplier for your duty station is 65.7% of your salary, then we'll be able to calculate your post adjustment per year, which will be 64,000 times 0 0.657, which will give us 42,048 US dollars. That will be added to your base salary. So the total amount that you take as your annual salary will be 64,000 plus 42,048 US dollars, and you will be taking home 106,000 and 48 US dollar that year. As a United Nations staff member, you are entitled to other benefits and allowances. This might include rental subsidies. If newly arriving at a duty station, your rent represents a high proportion of your expenses. You might also get dependency allowances. If you have an eligible dependent spouse or children, under certain circumstances, you might also get education grant if you have eligible children in school, travel and shipping allowances when you are moving from one station to another, assignment grants to assist you in meeting initial extraordinary costs when arriving or relocating to a new station. At some stations, you might get hardship allowance, hazardous pay, and rest and recuperation break when you serve in locations where the conditions are particularly hazardous, stressful, and difficult. The next category that we're going to look at is general services and related categories. The functions of the general service and related category include administrative, secretarial, 
and clerical support, as well as technical functions as security, drivers, building maintenance, and such. Similarly, the national professional also fall in this category where it comes to the pay and how the recruitment is done. So the recruitment of members in these categories are normally recruited and paid on a local basis. You will be paid a salary according to a local salary scale. The salary scales are reviewed periodically on the basis of comprehensive survey of the best prevailing conditions and employment in the locality. Same to these positions, the income is tax-free and also you'll get a ton of other benefits and allowances. These allowances and benefits might include family allowance if you're eligible to one and depending with the locality. Before I go to the field service category, which I'm sure most of you might fall in this category, I want to say this. Here at Career Point Solutions, we offer free CV reviews and recently we started offering free career coaching sessions. So if you'd like to take advantage of this free service, head over to www.careerpoint.co.ke forward slash CV review. There you'll get an opportunity to submit your CV for a free review and one of our coaches will give you a call to discuss with you what are your career goals, what are the challenges that you're facing and how we can be able to help you surpass them. Again, remember to go to www.careerpoint.co.ke forward slash CV review. The staff in the field service are normally recruited internationally to be able to serve in the different field missions. Field service members provide administrative, technical, logistic, and other support services to the United Nations field missions. You are required to have a minimum of a high school diploma or equivalent. Some position may require a technical or vocational certificate. The annual net base salary ranges approximately in the US dollars 31,000 to 54,000 US dollars for entry level field service staff that is the level FS1 to FS2 if you are at the mid level service staff that is F4 to FS5 you will be taking home approximately between 44,000 to 68,000 US dollars in a year and for the senior Level field staff, field service staff that is FS6 to FS7 will be taking home approximately 56,000 to 90,000 US dollars. And at the same time, these salaries are still exempted from income tax. Other benefits will include health insurance and retirement pension. Disclaimer. This information is provided to give a general overview of the United Nations conditions of service. The actual employment contracts of staff are based on the UN staff regulations and rules, which remains the definitive source of any legal and administrative interpretation. Also, take a look at this other video, how to get a UN job fast and easy. Make sure you like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. I'm out.